What is happening guys, we're back with yet another Convergence video, this time turning our focus to the latest 1.4 patch. In this patch, the Convergence team has changed up Castle Morn, Stormvale Castle, and Rhea Lucaria, and they have also added a bunch of new things for melee builds. This time around, certain gear pieces provide additional buffs, who are not only visually stunning, but also gives plenty of effects to your character. Whenever you consume a flask for healing, FP, or whatever physic blend you have concocted. And also whenever you apply a grease to your weapon, making melee builds a lot more viable, but most importantly, so much more fun to play. All of the footage in this video is directly taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, so do let me know if you like seeing my first time reactions to everything, or if you prefer the other videos when I go more into detail about things. With that said, here is what you have to look forward to. Oh my lord. Hello, sir. And we're dead. <laughs> Jesus. Before I fully leave you to my past self, here are some of the changes to various paths and items. The headpiece is the most difficult to obtain, and you use your physic flasks to get the bonus effects. The chest piece are found during the mid-game, and you activate the bonus by using your healing flask. The boots, together with the gloves, are the easiest to get early. The boots bonus gets activated by using a FP flask, while the gloves bonus hits after you use a grease. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now back to Twitch me. Ooh, it's a door there. Let's hit him with the ash. Yeah, that is very nice. So this is new, like this gate here. So we're entering Castle Morn, probably, going this way. Yeah, that's cool. That is awesome. So we just teleported through. Oh man, I'm a bit excited, to be honest. I always love these redesigned areas. Holy crap. Bro. This place looks awesome. And we have a rooftop path, it seems like. Man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come closer. There we go. This is the main entrance. And we sort of got teleported to the left immediately. Yeah. Even the outskirts have been changed, so the war has already begun. Frenzied Knight. Okay. Bunch of fra frenzy things going on here. Cool. The wall is broken down here, so we can enter. Sort of giving me uh, vibes from whatever that place is called in Altus. I like this place. Um, yeah, I mean, let's see. Holy crap. This is like a whole legacy dungeon now. Oh, wow. Even the coastal area. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Dude. That's a frenzy troll. Oh my god, that's a frenzy troll up there. Don't really see any loots on the rooftops, so guess we go down here. I have yellow. Yeah. All of these guys seem to have given in to the temptation of frenzied flame. Here we have some misbegottens. Perfect, Stagger. Thank you very much. I know you want to jump. Bunch of barrels to roll through. We take those. Some enemies over there. And a grace. Wow, there's a grace here. Garden quarter. <laughs> oh, man. Bunch of rats. Right, let's check out the rest of the garden. And they all hurt us. Of course they did. Zug zug. So misbegottens, perfumers, all stacked up. This place is huge, man. What the hell? Yeah, so this sort of architecture 
and the design definitely gives me Altus and Landell vibes. And yeah, this tower. Big guy. Let's climb up. Check it out. Some. Bang. Slumberstone. So we wrapped around the eastern side. And then it was like the entire coastal area that we haven't gone through yet. Bunch of pages. It's like a patrol. So if we just drop down. Yeah. Large somberstone. Lovely. Oh my god. You were hiding there, bro. Oh. Right. So there was a ladder to get all the way up there into that tower. We can hear some misbegottens. Yeah, there you are. Poison spray mist. We're getting a bunch of interesting items that we would normally just find in Altus. So I really like that inclusion. So far, definitely so good. Like, look at all of this work they put in here. Gorgeous. Feels like we should find something pretty interesting all the way up. Oh, just two somber stones and one regular smithing stone and a bunch of barrels. Okay, well... Not as interesting as I thought it would be, but still. Ooh, okay. Let's prepare for the shore side. So, seemingly, we can get into the castle from, like, this side here. And there's a bunch of baddies with a frenzy troll. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Bonk. Yep. Oh man, that was awesome. Like the whole shockwave. No. Please. Please, no. I'm about to get frenzied. Don't like getting frenzied. Oh man, what have they done to this place? It's looking huge. And Somberstone. Okay, so Somberstones seems to be the general award in this area. And a crab. A frenzied crab! Hi, sir. And a large Somberstone. That's good. I don't like you guys creeping up to me. Please stop the creeping. What am I... What am I getting frenzied from? What's happening? It's like the frenzied uh, Eye of Sauron. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, what is this? Touch. What just happened? What is this? Oh my lord, and it's a boss fight. Okay. Oh my lord. Hello, sir. And we're dead. <laughs> Jesus. This really surprised me. The placement and everything. This is awesome. Like on the short side. Man. Um, how do we want to approach this? Not getting frenzied for starters. I can't roll if I get hit by the first one. Oh lord. This is cool. Like, this arena is awesome. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's raining, man. Hella freaking Luya, bro. Whoa. Well. 
Hello? Sneak under that somehow. Oh, that is awesome looking. And I still got hit. More buffs. Right, 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 right. Oh. Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus, is that it? Oh my god. Like, imagine facing this boss this freaking early. And the frenzied flame zeal is acquired that way. Holy. That is awesome. Okay, I love that. That was... Mind-boggling how cool that was. Like, do we dare killing this guy? I don't... Seemingly. Right. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. Boom. That's the outskirts. Let's head up the lift. What else have you done? Because right now? Like, just that part was awesome. 1010 would do it again. And it's just a fog wall. Huh. Okay. Omen Killer Sandro. Hello. Yeah, we can't roll through. Get some grease going. Don't handle the fire well, do you? See ya, Sandro. Memory stone, faint relic remnant. And yeah. And a grace. And this is called Morn Courtyard. It's definitely a way to spice things up. Can we go this way? Hello, sir. Sorry for intruding the grounds. Hope you don't mind. You don't seem to mind. You were just watching when I was fighting that bad guy? Come on now. Without the need of doing any tunnels or any of that shenanigans, we can actually get a bunch of upgrade mats just by going to Castle Morn. I really do like that. Yeah, and here are all the misbegottens. We're heading deeper. Into the castle. Hit him with the Ocean's Fury. It's weird that that first hit has like zero stagger. With the help of Frenzy and whatever, the Misbegottens are many. What the hell? There's so many. And then there's a perfumer there. Yeah, I don't like this. Big sword to go. Brrr. I think what I appreciate the most so far is that it really fits the pace of Convergence. <laughs> Some small pot bros. Kind of funny. But generally, right, the Convergence mod just goes faster because of all the uh, like very strong weapons we can acquire, the armor sets that give bonuses to stats, and now even like various uses of Grease and that kind of stuff giving us bonuses. And this feels like, even though I'm, like what, I'm level 30 at this point by just reaching Castle Morn, it still fits the pace, and then I obviously have a bunch of extra levels from my gear, my talismans, the, the heirloom remnants and whatnot. So yeah, I really like how they've done everything thus far. Terrific enemy placements. Haha, <laughs> see ya. 
still sort of staying true to the old design, but obviously the outer, the garden area and the shore is obviously new. Fits the theme really well. And then this rampart side, staying true to the e. vanilla design. What was that? Uh, it's a ballista. This is scary. Ho! Oh. Don't like where I'm at right now. See ya, bro. I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. <laughs> yeah, with all the new shit going on. Go up here. We have a knight standing all the way there. Well, hello, sir. And what does this do? Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Right? I don't know what we're doing right now. Okay, we can climb up there. This works too. Enjoying the view? Take a closer look, will ya? Can I just drop this? I can. Okay. I think... I think we've made it. Jesus. Sketchy jumping. Oh my lord, what was that? Oh, there's a golem there. I did not see him before. What the hell is happening? Get me inside, please. Thank you. It's a bunch of loots. How is that the head? This is pretty cool. Bunch of chests. The Zweihander. And a bunch of more stuff. And the regular Claymore. Let's see if we can sneak past the angry golem. You don't see me, right? I think you see me. I don't want to get hit by that. Please, no shenanigans, Sir Golem. Now this is more like it. This is the place I was dreaming about. Holy shit, there's so many. Okay. Okay. Golem, I kind of miss you now. Oh, we're dropping frames. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was a lot of freaking enemies. We just got spawned into freaking Dark Souls 2, man. Let's get the buff going. Look at that sweet HP region. Mm, mm, mm. And we found our way down. Lovely. <gasps> Bunch of enemies there. Bunch of more enemies here. Oh god. Please leave me be, guys. What's this? The glowing rune of order. Wow, so that's how you get that now. That that is a fantastic idea, albeit kind of difficult to find. How do I get out of here? Yeah, I think we need to warp out. Shit. 
and now we drop. Ooh. And here we are, a grace. Mm. That took us quite some time, but we finally did it. They really went to town with Castle Morn. Let's get a backstab on him. Heavy attack. I don't know if I'm supposed to come this way. This place is freaking huge. Now this is seemingly where this stop where this path stops. No problem. It just feels impossible for me. That's the problem with coming back to Elden Ring after playing something else. It's like you're just not used to the distance of the jumps. Feels sketchy. To say the least. One more. Yeah. And then... Okay. You guys are rude. Why are you so damn strong? The whip. How lovely. And a knight. Okay. Please tell me there's a grace here. There is not. A golden seed. Lovely. Sure. Seems right. But that is locked. So we need to open that up. Another puzzle for us to solve. There's a bunch of them. What the hell? Many octopus. Octopi. I think that's what you say. Fundamentalist Gino. Well, hello, sir. Is that Gino Machino? Why were you hostile? Hammer of Virtue. Faith Weapon. Virtuous Consecration. I mean, we can't use this for shit, but... Oh, wow, that's a nice moveset, though. For being a hammer? Okay, so that's the Ash of War. Makes you fly away. Yeah, and this. Opens up the boss arena. Of course. Okay. Do we go through the octopi? I think we do, right? Oh, legendary. The octopus head. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> a land octopus whelp worn directly on the head has a lingering warmth reminiscent of human skin. Increases dex and int by one and increases physical absorption by 10%. Hello. I am octopus head. Kind of funny that that's a legendary item. Has a very good resistances across the board. <laughs> Sit down, boy. Give me that sword, will you? And the first keystone to the forge from here. Now that's that's great. So by either defeating Godric, Renala. This guy, or Regal Ancestor Spirit. That, that's just good, so we have way more options here. Like the way they included that. So that was Castle Morn. Holy shit. That was really cool. Loved every second of it. There was, however, one thing that I had missed. Jumping across these pillars of rock while having the very well-positioned golem shooting at you might not seem like the smartest way to go, but it leads to a key. 
there is a very well-hidden chest that lies straight across from the grace where the bridges are, containing Carwin's epee. Would be neat to see more weapons or items hidden around like this one. All in all, the changes to Castle Morn have all been incredible. Instead of being a pretty meh experience, it has been lifted to a level compared to other legacy dungeons, while also staying true to the original feel. As always, I can't do anything but recommend each and every one of you to go and play this mod. It is that good. And if you don't really know what this mod is about as a whole, go check my deep dive video out. Even though it does not cover any of the recent changes, you will still get the general gist of it. So go and try out a melee build in the Convergence, and I'll see you all in the next one.